So today I'm really excited to talk to you about Draudio. This is the kit version, but here's the final assembled version. And it's basically a speaker on a pencil. And since it's conductive, you can close the circuit by touching the copper tape, drawing with it, and then connecting the drawing with your other finger. It's a really cool tool to show how electronic signals can turn into sound. It's a super easy build. All you have to do is put the components in the little PCB there. And all you need is just a little bit of soldering. And then the rest of the pieces just go into the pencil and you're good to go. So let's get the soldering iron in here and get started. So the PCB is really nicely labeled. Um, they've got all uh, the resistors, the capacitors, the timing chip. So all you got to do is just follow along and they have a very good tutorial online that I'll put in the description as well. So we're going to start off with uh, one of the resistors and we're going to bend the leads a little bit so that we can put it through the holes in the PCB. Bend the leads over and get it ready for soldering. I'm going to put it in the uh, third hand and solder those leads to the board. Clip the leads and there's the first resistor. There's going to be uh, three more of these. So it's going to be the same process of bending the leads, finding which um, component spot it needs to go in, and then soldering it in. Now these resistors are different values, so you'll have to be very careful about uh, which one to use in which spot. And um, they cover that very well in the online tutorial. Um, you can tell by those different colored bands that the resistors have different values. So soldering and clipping, make sure that we're not spending too much time with the soldering iron on the components because that can hurt them, especially the uh, especially any chips that you might have. Uh, resistors are usually okay. Uh, next we're going to do the capacitors. So we've got a couple of different kinds. We've got these little, um, these smaller capacitors, which don't have a polarity, so you can put them in either way. So we're going to do these two at the same time. This is C1 and C3 on the circuit board. And they're close enough together that we can uh, solder them at the same time. So I'm putting all these components in, in one by one uh, just to make it a little easier when it comes to soldering and clipping the leads. But you can do them in almost any order. Uh, there's not um, there's really not a whole lot that can get in the way when you're putting these in. There's a lot of space on the circuit board. So next is going to be the integrated circuit. This is what actually controls um, the electronic signals coming in and helps it convert into um, sounds that the speaker produces. This is what it looks like. It's got eight little leads on it. And make sure that the little dot on the chip is the same side as the little notch on the printed circuit board. And then what I like to do is tack um, two opposite sides, and then I can come back and solder the rest of the connections. And here's where you need to be really careful about not putting too much heat onto the connection, because if you do put too much heat on the connection, then you can um, damage the integrated circuit and then it just won't work at all. All right, Q1 is next and it's got three leads on it and what we're going to do is bend it over so that it lies flat on the PCB. And you can use a piece of tape here to help hold that in place um, while you're soldering the connections. Take the piece of tape off. Uh, and this is a, another capacitor. 
it's larger and you can see that it's got a white stripe on one side which indicates that that's the negative side. So this one you have to put in with the correct polarity. Um, and that negative lead is also shorter than the positive lead. So that's another indication that um, it has a polarity. So the longer lead is going to go into the spot marked with a plus sign. We're also going to fold this one over so that it lays flat. And we're going to hold that down with another piece of tape while we put the solder on. And then the kit comes with a piece of wire that you can cut into two pieces to connect the speaker. But there's also a spot where these two pads are that you can just put a pillow of solder on there and connect it directly to the board that way without using the wire. So we're just going to build up a good bead of solder on these two pads. And then uh, we're going to hold the speaker in place on top of those beads of solder. And then we're just going to heat up the solder and uh, connect the two. So now it's time to test. So put a battery in and touch the two connections. And it should sound something like that. So, so far so good. We can move on to the next step of putting the battery pack on. Take the battery out. Put it in place, bend the leads over a little bit so it doesn't fall out while we're trying to solder it. Solder that in place. And clip the leads. Now it's time to attach it to the pencil. And the kit comes with a little zip tie that you use to just wrap around the pencil and uh, the PCB. And then uh, get it tight, but not too tight. You don't want to hurt any of the components and then cut a small strip out of the copper tape, about an inch, inch and a half long. And this is going to go on the top connection, that little gold part right there, and wrap up and over the top of the pencil. And all you got to do is just press down firmly. Next, we're going to take the tack that came in the kit and put it through the tape, through the top of the pencil. And you got to work it back and forth a little bit until it looks like that, sitting flush. And then the next, uh, the longer piece of tape that's left over starts at the bottom connection and then wrap it around the pencil so that it just goes around two or three times uh, towards the tip of the pencil. And all you got to do is just press it down to make sure it stays firmly in place. Now we're going to just um, solder the tape to those connections so that it doesn't uh, just accidentally pull off. Put the battery back in, test it, and then you can start drawing with it. And there's your finished audio. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.